My name is Thomas Willingham. I'm from the product team. How many of you have tried or enabled an installation of 2008 R2 VDI? Wow, that many? <laughs> That's because our initial entry into the VDI market was complicated. Our initial entry into the VDI market, uh, you installed f six or seven different servers. You had to go to each individual server to perform the installation. You had to do it in the right order. You had to do it on the right day. You had to do it at the right time. And if you didn't, it didn't work. It was very complicated. You almost had to have a PhD to get it to work. And if you did get it to work, you were so amazed that everything, it was all worth it, but you had to get it to work. It was so complicated, we had to create a poster of how it all integrated. With 2012, we created a single UI on the server for the installation. So is everybody familiar? Well, majority of you in Kloss and Tibby kind of walk through that UI that enables you to have that wizard perform the installation, the quick start. Quick start uh, installs everything on a single server, get you going for proof of concept. Once you can see it running, once you can kind of figure it out, it's really easy. You have that nice UI to get you going. This kind of shows the evolution or progression of how far we've come in our virtual desktop infrastructure solution. Initially, when VDI first came out, mid-2000, 2006, 2007, uh, everybody was touting cost savings. Oh, VDI, it's cost savings. Yeah, I see people going, uh-uh. Because -uh. what's more expensive, network storage or local storage? They didn't think about that. So it ended up not being more expensive. It was more complicated because now you had additional infrastructure costs, you had additional storage costs. Depending on which version of VDI that you installed, it was complicated. I'm not saying all of this to tear down Microsoft's solution. Again, I'm, I'm talking about this to talk about the evolution of where we started and where we're at now. Fortunately, we have some great partners out there that help extend our solution, that take that foundation, that platform that we've created, and extend it. So some VDI challenges that we have today. One, creating a great user environment, so ensuring a rich, user environment with the applications they want, with the experience they want, and balancing that with IT manageability. Application virtualization issues, you go to install that application, it may or may not run in the environment that you want to run it in. Not all applications have that problem, but some do. And when you do have that issue, how do you overcome it? And then finally, everybody's favorite thing, gold image sprawl. So you start with one, and you have that perfect gold image. And then you have another group, and they're like, oh, we want some additional apps. So now you have two. And then you have 30. And then you have 50. And then you have 80. Each of these images have to be patched, have to be updated. How do you manage that? And not only do they have to be patched and updated, they're all taking storage. Again, network storage is expensive. So how do you manage gold image sprawl? So we have a partner, uh, Unidesk. Unidesk has introduced, well, it, it's not new, but new to the Microsoft environment, app layering technology. What this enables is a single gold image per OS. So truly, a single image per operating system. One for seven, one for eight, one for 
one for soon to be 10. The apps are installed in their own VHD. When you want to associate an application to a user, you start with the gold image, you layer the associated applications on it, and an application layer can have one application or many applications in it. Layer that on top, presented to the user is a single common image. So to the user, it looks like a single image, even though they're all managed separately. The OS can be managed separately, which means when it comes time to patch that image, you're updating a single image, enabling easy image management and storage optimization. Because now you're not talking about 30, 50, 80 different images. You're talking about one image for your OS and then different images for your application layers. Persistent personalization. So as users manage their environment, those changes persist. And then finally, the ability, all this functionality enables the ability to patch, repair, and roll back changes to the different layers. Desktop layering. So there are different layers for different components. There's an OS layer, an application layer. These layers are read-only, so the user can't even change those. Then there is the user layer. This is writable per the user, so they can make changes, they can customize. As the image, as the user requests his image, requests his desktop, all those layers are brought together and presented to the user, like I said, as a single desktop. The benefits, a very simple application delivery. So now when you want to introduce a new app into the environment, you don't have to open up your gold image, install it into that gold image, or spin up a new one. You create a new application layer, add it to the desktops you want to add it to, and it gets propagated to those users. Again, a single gold image, storage savings right there. Users can customize their environments without affecting or impacting the other images. And then a management UI for really efficient management. So let me go ahead and show you what some of this looks like. And really quick, I'm showing a video because this is just being released in preview this week. So it's so new that they kind of videoed some stuff for me so I can present it to you. Um, as I said, this is in preview this week. So if you're interested in it, you can go to Unidesk's website, pull it down and start playing with it. But that's why we're running video here. It's not like I'm trying to smoke in mirrors and mirrors and do weird stuff, it's just this is really new, at least in the Microsoft environment. They've been around for about four years, so it's not like it's new technology, it's just new to us. So basically what you see here is a Windows 10 um, desktop. They're going into control panel. All these applications are all layers that have been added to this desktop. Notice they're all displayed in this in control panel as if they were part of this image. Uh, there's different things here. They have the Unidesk Preparation Utility, Microsoft Office Professional, GoToMeeting. So all of these layers just add into this image. And it's really kind of interesting because as you get into the UI here, so you get into the file system, when you look at the file system, you'll see that to, again, to the user, this is all seamless. So you're going into the file system, you're looking at Office, they see that file system as if it were native to this image. So 
So that's kind of a little bit about what layering is. Now let's talk about how simple it is to package the application. Because that's another part of the problem is you have these technologies out there that make it easier to utilize your VDI environment, but they're really technical and people need PhDs to be able to use them. So in this, you create an application, uh, you, such as test app. You create an application, you go into the application, you give it a layer name. Uh, you tell it what uh, OS you're going to use. So you give it some information. You can label what version it's going to be. So here's where you pick the OS. Uh, for that OS, here's what image or what that image has associated with it. Here's the memory, here's, what that, here's the number of CPUs, here's what that image looks like. Next, it's going to look at what are the prerequisite layers. So a prerequisite layer is, let's say that I want to install Office plugins on a layer. Well, I'd need access to Office for those plugins to see. So any prerequisite applications would be added here. Once you've done this, you boot into the VHD that's associated with this layer, you install the applications, and then finalize this system. You see it's very straightforward to use. So pretty much anybody in your help desk chain will be able to do this and create layers for the different VDI systems. Okay, so I've shown you what it looks like from a user perspective. I've shown you how to create and package an application. You saw how straightforward it is. Finally, let's talk about the ease of management of these applications here. So, so to manage these, you can search on the different collections, on the different app layers. You can manage tens or even hundreds of different layers. You can manage your OS layers. You can manage your app layers. You can create new desktops for your users, associate new desktops. So I want user Joe to have this base OS and then be associated to these applications. I know this has been kind of fast. Uh, we've had like a lot of information thrown at you. We just wanted to th kind of throw this in here. Thanks. So the tech preview for Unidesk is available now. Uh, you can go to this website here, unidesk.com, for the tech preview. It enables the management of RDS collections. So it's currently in tech preview. The expected GA release is January 2015. Again, we're thankful to have these kind of partners that really extend the solution that Microsoft has for VDI.